So one way that a narcissist escapes accountability is plausible deniability, creating a lie, a half-truth, a question, casting a shadow of doubt on anything that's happened that you are questioning about them. Any situation that comes up that they do not want to take accountability for or responsibility for, they will cast a shadow of doubt on so that you turn away from it you start fighting with them and then become the problem become the problem according to them right you get reactive you respond thus turning everything around and making you the person who has to take accountability for the whole situation my name is lise clucci and i am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and transform your life after narcissistic people have been in it the narcissist is looking for a free pass they don't want to take any accountability. We know this as one of the major indications of a narcissistic person. Lack of empathy, no taking of accountability. And the thing is, they don't take accountability because they lack the empathy. Because if you have empathy and you're in a relationship with anyone of any kind, then you wish to have a healthy exchange with that person where you are responsible for your behavior and take accountability for the actions that could be harming that relationship. A narcissist does not have that because they lack that peace, which is the empathy, and therefore do not take accountability. They're also protecting their ego, protecting the delusion of what they believe they are or want you to believe they are so that they can maintain their narcissistic position in life, their ego filled stance. Okay. So when they are being this way, and when they are in complete denial and using these tiny pieces of plausible deniability during conflict, it creates absolute confusion in your brain. It's frustrating. It is something that is really hard not to argue with, not to come back at, not to com get combative with. What they're trying to do is divert the whole thing when there's any conflict or anything they should be taking accountability for so that they can have it shift over here and they can slip over there and not have to take accountability. They don't care if you're in a fight. They don't care if you're hurt. They don't care that things escalate in a negative direction because guess what? That is still supply. So plausible deniability is just one way in which they're gaslighting you. They are intentionally making you look away from the topic at hand so that they can escape. And this gaslighting strategy can make you doubt your own sense of right and wrong, your own feelings in the situation that you're dealing with. This is a form of psychological bullying. So what are some of the ways a narcissist will use this? Usually it is a more covert narcissist that does this and they will use little terms and little phrases over and over and each one will have their special little catchphrase that they use over and over in debate in argument and conflict when they feel they are being cornered or they are being brought to the table to have to take some accountability they'll say things like i didn't mean to why well, didn't know how was i supposed to know i wasn't aware of that nobody told me well it just happened how was I, how, what, what did I have to do with it? You know what? You're wrong. That's not how it happened. They'll say things like, do you really think that? Do you really think I'm capable of that? Is that what you think? They'll even go so far as to say things like, do you not think this is your trust issue? I think this has to do with your issues around trust or your issues around whatever it is. They're trying to look squeaky clean and get that free pass. And in doing so, creating just a shadow of doubt, just a moment where you take pause and you think, is it me? Is that how it is? Or if you're used to this person, you're like, there they go again. There they go again, denying the truth. And then you start arguing about how they deny the truth, right? So if, if, they, if something happens and you're like, hey, this happened. And instead of taking accountability, they say, don't you think you're being too sensitive? And that's what they always say to you. By about the you know 10th time or so you're used to that response and so then you say why do you always say that to me and then they say why do i always say what to you well you're always telling me i'm too sensitive well you are look how you're acting right now and then the whole argument becomes about you being too sensitive instead of the thing you were talking about and discussing openly about in the first place so this is a major 
tool that they use for deflection and it is so subtle and so simple and so like such a short phrase is all it takes to cast that shadow of a doubt on the accountability that should be taken. I mean, they're denying what took place or what happened intentionally in order to make it look as if something happened unintentionally or like it's really something different and you're not even seeing reality. Can you see how this form of gaslighting gets under your skin? Can you see how the urge to react to this would be really strong and maybe you're nodding your head yes because you are reacting to it and you do react to it and it's really hard to stay distant from this and like totally gray rock this behavior and it's because here's the thing once that plausible deniability is has entered the conversation conversation over it's always going to follow that path because they have just said i will not take accountability and when a narcissist says, I will not take accountability, that's what they mean. And they are not going to budge, okay? They're not, there's nothing you can do at that point except gray rock, except try to step away, go low contact, whatever it is to keep yourself protected from the reactive arguing that takes place after that. If you are needing help with anything regarding this, check out the information in the videos because I have offerings of coaching, group coaching, and peer support. And any one of those or a combination of those can really help you if you need it in these situations. So go check that out. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe for this channel if you like these videos. And if you would like more videos like this, and also let me know what it is you want me to talk about or any questions that you have regarding toxic people or how to heal from toxic people so that I can help you and tailor this channel to serve your needs. Okay, you guys, this plausible deniability is so frustrating and so infuriating to be in relationship with. It is a giant wall to communication, okay? It is not going to get better through explaining to the narcissist how they're doing this very thing. All that's gonna do is create an argument about the argument about the argument. You know what I mean? How these go in circles, this creates circular argument when they're doing this because what happens is you could be arguing about something brand new or discussing or talking about it doesn't even have to be an argument you could be having a conversation about something brand new that the narcissist would take accountability for i mean think about how many times a day you take accountability a lot right because that's part of being a healthy human well when they're met with it at all boom up comes the wall out comes the gaslighting the plausible deniability i didn't do that what are you talking about what do you, you don't know what I've been doing. What are you saying? What are you saying here? Are you blaming me? You know, these little words come out. They cast a shadow of doubt on the situation. Even if you are holding strong to what you're talking about, it forces the attention onto that moment of deniability. You start arguing about the deniability, right? Or mentioning it or reacting to it. There's no way not to react to it. And then the circular argument begins about the deniability itself. And you're having the same argument you've had with them a zillion times. The thing that you're asking them to take accountability for is lost and long gone, way in the past, does not exist anymore. And everything escalates into however that particular narcissist escalates arguments, right? All of which is giving them masses of supply because remember they do not care what kind of supply they get as long as they get supply. Attention, focus, your energy going toward them and them alone is what they're after. So gray rocking this when you see it happen, super important. Being as low contact as you can, especially when a narcissist is wound up in needing to escape accountability knowing that you cannot force a narcissist to take accountability. However, you do not have to remain in relationship with them. Okay, so figuring out what it is for your life and how this this information fits into your life to help you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any stories or anything you want to share so I can help you to understand and heal some of this in your life. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye bye.